In just a little over 72 hours, Nintendo is shutting down the Nintendo Network Services, which means you will no longer be able to play Nintendo Wii U games as well as Nintendo 3DS games online. I grew up with both of these consoles. I hold them very near and dear to my heart. So today I wanted to just kind of send them off and reminisce about my experiences online playing online games on these consoles because really this is the final nail in the coffin i know there's pre tendo so you can get some custom servers running on these games but after this it'll never be the same this is really the the final moments of the wii u and 3ds life cycle of course these games will always be alive as long as the community is there to support it but in terms of an official capacity by nintendo this is it for 3ds and wii u so join me as we reminisce and talk about our favorite Nintendo 3DS and Wii U online memories. Let's get into it. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games. Now, before we get into reminiscing about 3DS and Wii U online, I do have an announcement to make. I will be streaming on Saturday and Sunday this weekend. If you're watching it when I post it, uh, this will be starting tomorrow, basically. So on Saturday, we're going to be streaming Wii U games online, uh, including uh, Call of Duty, Splatoon, Smash Bros, Mario Kart. And I'm open to suggestions as well in the comments of this video, as well as on the stream uh, the night of. I'll be streaming at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure to be there if you want to join in on some final matches for these Wii U games. And then on Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, I will be streaming 3DS games online. For 3DS, I was thinking, you know, Mario Kart 7, Kid Icarus Uprising, Smash Bros, even something like Kirby Battle Royale would be kind of cool to play. I think most of us probably... We probably never played that game. So if you have any online games for 3DS or Wii U that you think would be fun to play one final time before the server shut down, let me know in the comments below and we can try to stream it on uh, those days. So once again, Saturday 1 p.m. is Wii U and Sunday 1 p.m. is 3DS. And if the streams do well, I might do a final stream on Monday as the streams go down. Maybe maybe we like all get into a Splatoon lobby on the final day or something. That might be kind of fun. So yeah, definitely check out those streams as I do them in the coming days. But yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about 3DS and Wii U online play. So I've talked a lot about these two consoles on this channel, but this really feels like the final final stop along the road for 3DS and Wii U. You know, the eShop closed last year, and now with the online play closing, I, I once again, I know Pretendo exists. It's just not the same. It's not the same having to run custom firmware and custom servers. This is the final like official thing Nintendo will ever do regarding a Wii U and 3DS. You know, so it really feels like the final nail in the coffin for these consoles. Of course, the community will always keep them alive with custom servers and stuff, but this really does feel like the end of the line for this uh, this train ride that was the Wii U and 3DS's life cycle, which is just kind of sad because, man, I'm 23. These consoles came out right in like the peak of my early teen years, but then also just teen years leading up to them when the Switch came out. So I have a lot of nostalgia for them. I'm not the type of person that's going on Twitter saying, oh, I miss the Wii U days. I don't miss the Wii U days. I'm nostalgic for the Wii U days. Um, but some of my favorite experiences ever playing games came from these two consoles, specifically their online. And actually, I know this sounds kind of crazy. I, I've, I think I've told the story before. My life simply would not be the same if it wasn't for Mario Kart 7. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to go down memory lane here and talk about uh, the 3DS and Wii U online play and just how much I enjoyed it, these these consoles and playing games online with friends and stuff. So starting with 3DS, we'll start with 3DS and then move to Wii U. Um, you know, I was 11 when the 3DS came out, um, so pretty young, and I didn't really have much experience playing games online um i you know i'd see my brother playing call of duty on his 360 and stuff but um i had never really played anything online up to that point i would say my first major online game was actually mario kart 7 and what did i do as an 11 year old i went online and asked for 3ds friends to play mario kart 7 with and um i you know i was like doing like competitive mario kart 7 clans and stuff like really getting into mario kart 7 uh, it's my most played 3ds game next to pokemon x another game which we'll talk about but um yeah i think i have like 500 hours of mario kart 7 and it's actually how i met my best friend and the reason i moved across the country uh so without mario kart 7 without the online play of mario kart 7 specifically my life would be very very different than it is right now um and for that reason mario kart 7 is still my favorite mario kart game uh, Mario Kart 8 is, it's a better game, but I, I really enjoyed Mario Kart 7 and the uh, the online community surrounding it when it was in its prime was just so much fun to be a part of. But then moving on from that, you know, we had stuff like Kid Icarus Uprising, which admittedly I didn't play as much online as I would have liked. I, I wish I had gotten more in depth 
and more uh, more involved in the Kid Icarus Uprising uh, community when it was active. You know, you can still go online and find matches, uh, which is crazy. I, I did it like a month or two ago, and I found a match like instantly. It was crazy. But Kid Icarus Uprising has really strong multiplayer, um, which once again, we'll be streaming that on a Sunday. So definitely tune in for that and join in. We'll play some final matches together. But then Pokemon X and Y is another... Uh, I would say turning point for me as an online gamer um, at this point, you know, 2013, I have never been so involved in a game's community as Pokemon X and Y. You know, I was on the Serebii forums. I was on some other forums, um, just like doing trading. I was breeding for like five IV Pokemon, battle ready Pokemon, doing trades for shinies. Like I was so involved in Pokemon X and Y, which is a big reason that generation six is my second favorite Pokemon generation. Gen five will always reign supreme, but gen six, I... I still think that was the best time to be a Pokemon fan in terms of like online play because PSS, the little player search system they had, Wonder Trade, it was all so seamless, so perfect. Having that all on the bottom screen worked so well. Having the friend safaris where if you have a friend on your 3DS's friends list, you get like a special safari and then you can get like five IV Pokemon from uh, their safari. If you don't play competitive Pokemon, basically means better stats. That just added such a nice community element to it. And I'm actually not sure, will the friend safari stuff still work in in these games probably not will you still be able to add friends i'm actually not sure i, I i'm gonna put my friend code here on 3ds drop yours down in the comments and i'll uh, i'll add you let's get let's max out our friends list before the servers go down because they actually might not work anymore you might not be able to add people anymore um so that's sad yeah pokemon x and y and then omega ruby alpha sapphire i was that is the most involved i've ever been in like a pokemon generation uh sun and moon kind of lost me sword and shield lost me even more although raids were very fun and then scarlet and violet i mean i i covered quite extensively on this channel but i haven't you know kept up with it uh as the years have gone on since that game released i guess a year and a half since it released uh but so yeah generation six as a whole i just really loved the online aspects of that and that was like kind of it for 3ds for me um there are some other notable examples you know dark moon was a lot of fun to play online um some co-op games triforce heroes i've actually always been a big fan of triforce heroes um even stuff like swap note like sending little doodles to your friends before they nerfed it <laughs> because safety risks you know uh swap note was a lot of fun i'm trying to think of some other ones like resident evil revelations was cool um heroes of ruin is a really niche 3ds game that people don't really talk about there are so many fun experiences on the 3ds uh when it comes to online play and that's all going away federation force is a game i played for the first time last year and i actually really liked it's not it's not the best metroid game or anything but it's a solid co-op experience with your friends. And if you can find some people to play it locally with, or maybe just play it before the servers go down over the next two days, I highly recommend it. It's actually, it's it's a pretty fun game. And then hopping over to the Wii U side of things, um, there was another game on here that actually led me to meeting a very close friend, and that was Call of Duty. I was the person playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, as well as Ghost, not as much, because uh, Ghost came out around the time the PS4 came out, and eventually I got a PS4, and I, I I jumped ship from Wii U and went to PS4 Call of Duty, finally upgraded to the big boy console. But Black Ops 2 is my most played Wii U game. I have, I think, over a 1,000 hours in Black Ops 2, I want to say. Unfortunately, my uh, my original Wii U got bricked while I was doing some uh, some things that maybe I shouldn't have been doing on my Wii U, so I lost my, my save file for that and my, and my progress, um, which is unfortunate because I, I always like to look back at my stats and stuff. But Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I actually met one of my friends that I still talk to to this day, like 10 years later. He was just talking to me on mic on Wii U, and that's how we became friends, which is just so crazy how you can make these connections with people on Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. You know, I know it's not a first-party game, but I, I really do think that Black Ops 2 kind of... Um, showed what the Wii U could be in terms of having an online community because I went back I've played Black Ops 2 on 360 and PS3 and even PC and you know while I was playing them maybe a couple of years after release like 2015 um it just wasn't the same and I guess that's going to be the case for any online game years after release but on Black Ops 2 on Wii U even now if you can still find matches you know it's just the same group of people you know when I was playing it in 2013 it was like the same 10,000 people playing it. You would constantly run into the same people on Black Ops 2 on Wii U, and it just added the sense of community, you know? Even like the the crap talking, you know, you you run into some guy, you're playing Search and Destroy, you, you, you either get destroyed by them or you destroy them, you run into them like a week later and like, oh yeah, I remember you, you know? It just added such a sense of community for Call of Duty to me that um, 
really made Black Ops 2 and Wii U a, a special, a special uh, experience, we'll say. Um, even if it didn't have all the, you know, DLC and bells and whistles of the the PS3 and 360 versions, I I'm very happy I actually played it on Wii U. I think, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't change it if I could. Um, and even Ghost, once again, I, I did enjoy playing. Um, other Wii U games I enjoyed playing online, of course, Mario Kart 8. I'm actually, I like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a lot. Mario Kart 8, I remember being really excited for because of Mario Kart 7. But I was kind of annoyed when it came out because of like fire hopping and, um, you know, the battle mode wasn't great. I had issues with Mario Kart 8. There was no uh, double item slots. Like you couldn't stack items, which I didn't like. Uh, they fixed basically all those issues in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But Mario Kart 8, it was fun. You know, I played it for probably like 100 hours, but it just wasn't something that really... Uh, stuck with me. Splatoon, though, I really enjoyed. In fact, next to Call of Duty, this would definitely be my my most involved online game for the Wii U. Um, I'm not sure how much time I put into it. Just once again, that sense of community, Miiverse really helped with that with Splatoon because you have the messages in game. You have the people standing around the hub. You know, I actually don't think many of my friends were playing Splatoon at the time, Not at least not as like seriously as I was, but it was still fun, you know, even just playing with randoms in Splatoon and uh, kind of getting like a little bit competitive, I think. Yeah, at one point, uh, my friend that I met on Mario Kart 7, he actually did get Splatoon eventually. We were, we were doing like the the um, the ranked duos that you could do. Um, and even that was a lot of fun, even though it was like a little bit later after the game was already almost dead, I think. Um, and just having those constant content updates, I mean, I really think in terms of a game getting content updates, Splatoon 1 on Wii U did it best. Uh, even Splatoon 2, I don't think, did it as well. And then Splatoon 3, they've completely botched all the Mario sports games they botched. You all know. Uh, Nintendo has gotten a little bit too comfy with their content rollouts. But Splatoon on Wii U, at least as a Wii U fan at the time, having something to talk about every single week was so nice. You know, one week you'll be getting a new Splat Roller. The next week you'll be getting a new map. The week after that, they'll be adding, you know, a new Splat Fest for you to do. There was just something constantly happening in Splatoon that made it a, uh, a fun game to go back to uh, on the Wii U in 2015 that made being a Wii U owner not feel stupid. And then the only other game we really need to talk about here is Smash Bros. I actually mostly played Smash Bros on a 3DS. Despite having a Wii U, I still think I would say that Smash 3DS was my favorite version. Having that game portably... Uh, was just really nice. Um, I know, like, objectively, the Wii U version's better because it's the Wii U version, but I don't know. Something about, like, the 3DS stages, having it, once again, portable, Smash Run I even enjoyed, like, I don't know. I kind of like Smash 3DS a lot. I definitely played it more than the Wii U version, but it wasn't really a game I kind of like um, Mario Kart 8 on Wii U. It, it's not a game I got super into, once again, maybe, like, 100 hours, which is a lot of time, but um, compared to some of these other games, rookie numbers, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and kind of reminisce about the 3DS and Wii U online. If you all have any important memories or just memories at all that you want to share in the comments down below, uh, of course, feel free to do so. I always love to hear people's experiences with these uh, these games. I'm very nostalgic for, I hold very near and dear to my heart. Um, so I'd love to see some comments. Tell me if you were playing Splatoon or Mario Kart 7 back when they were in their prime, because there's nothing more important than like the memory of a game to me. I, that, that, you know, the, I hold these memories very near and dear to my heart. Not to get too sentimental here, um, but, you know, the, these consoles were very important to me growing up. Um, so to see them finally dying, uh, essentially, with the servers going down is definitely sad to see. Um, I did realize while recording this that um, this is 10 years after the Nintendo Wii and DS servers shut down. Almost to the month. Those shut down in May of 2014. So I really... Really hope we aren't going to see the same thing happen in 2034 for the Switch. I feel like it might actually happen sooner than that, but we'll see. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you subscribing. I mostly make Nintendo Switch content, but every once in a while, I'll go back and talk about the 3DS and Wii U. Of course, if you made it to the end here, once again, make sure to tune in on Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. both days. Saturday, we'll be playing Wii U games online, and Sunday, we'll be playing 3DS games online. If you want to join in for some final matches in these Wii U and 3DS games, I would very much appreciate you coming in and tuning in to these streams. And until next time, folks, peace.